all and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Amber and I love all things handbag related with a little bit of emphasis on the brand Vera Bradley. I also do some content related to concealed carry and how that works with all these beautiful bags that I love. So if any of that sounds good to you, then stick around and let's hang out. So today we're going to do just a super quick review over this, the Thacker Maddie Neoprene Backpack. I am going to try to make this really quick because I know this isn't everybody's cup of tea. This isn't really why, <clears throat> excuse me, this isn't really why y'all come to my channel or it's not really what y'all come to my channel to see. But I did say the other day in my haul video that this deserved its own review and so I am going to try to do that really quickly. So, First and foremost, if I'm going to give you a review of this backpack, again, this is the Thacker Matty Neoprene Backpack in the color Heather Gray. Um, there are other options than this, than just this color. There were a couple of other, I want to say there was another solid, but there may not have been, but there were a few prints, like maybe three. So... Um, anyway, this is from the brand Thacker. This is their little logo right here on the front. It's super simple and sleek. They are based out of New York. And I think the neoprene line is fairly new to them from what I have been able to find. Um, they do primarily work with leather. So if I want to give you a review on this, then I have to start with the shipping because most bags these days, the kind that we all tend to like, uh, us folks that tune into this channel, um, when they get shipped to us, if we have a large enough order, it'll come in a bag. If it's not large enough, I'm sorry. If we have a large enough order, it might come in a box, but more often than not these days, it's all shipped in a bag. And then the bags or accessories that you've ordered within that bag are folded in half to save space for shipping and all of that. And I get the purpose of that wholeheartedly. But I will say this backpack was shipped to me in a box, fully stuffed, and in its own um, protective plastic, clearly of course. But it was stuffed. It wasn't folded. It wasn't you know, there was none of that. It was stuffed so that it would maintain its shape and not get a bunch of folds and indentions in it. And, um, I appreciate that on you know, honestly, for the most part, I don't mind when my bags are folded because I, I understand the purpose of it, but for a more expensive bag like this or just a nicer bag in general, you know, sometimes it is nice to have that bag stuffed so that when it arrives to you, it just doesn't have all those marks and those bends and those indentations in it. So for this particular backpack, I did really appreciate the fact that this was stuffed and in a box and not just folded and smashed and put into a plastic mailer bag. Okay, so... I'll go ahead and show you, I will insert really quickly right here a picture of the tag. And I will go ahead and say too that no, what is on this tag is not the price that I paid. Y'all know me, I'm the budget queen, I'm not paying full price for anything. Alright, so let's start with the features of this bag. As you can see, the front of it is extremely simple. It's very smooth, it's very sleek. You just have this very simple branding right down here. Nothing else on the front of this bag. I love the way it looks. Okay, so on each side right here, you have a slip pocket. And this this is still completely stuffed. So I'm not sure how well this will work. But I think when it's not completely stuffed, a water bottle will fit in this fine. But I do have one, so we can go ahead and try. Um... It still goes in there anyway, even when it is stuffed. So it'll definitely hold a water bottle. So you have that slip pocket on both sides. And then if we turn it around, 
Let me move this out of the way. So you have your straps. They are very padded and plush. They're super comfortable. The one thing I will say about this backpack is that it does not have a ton of adjustability. Um, I did measure these straps and I will put the measurement on screen for the, the fully extended length on this, but it fits me fine even if it's not all the way loosened, but I'll show you really quickly what it looks like on me fully adjusted out. I hope that you can see that in the camera. So that's how it fits on me. So let's turn this back around. Let me pull the straps out of the way. <clears throat> Maybe. Okay. <laughs> so the first thing you'll see is this right here. Now this one does not have the zip on it to make this a pocket. This is just a trolley sleeve. However, when we move up here, we do have a magnetic pocket right here. Now that pocket goes from here all the way down. My fingertips are right here. And then we go straight across. You can see my hand moving in there. So we go all the way across up here. So this is a very nice deep pocket with that hidden magnetic closure right there. So if you notice on each side, we have a zip pocket right here. Now, these zip pockets are not huge, but they cover, they go down just a bit to about right here, and then they come up and they follow this curve all the way around. So you have one on this side, and these zippers work fine when the bag isn't stuffed, but with the bag stuffed, it's kind of distorting the zippers a little bit because they are those kind of chunky plastic zippers, but when your bag's not stuffed, they work just fine. So you have one on each side. This one again goes forward and down a little bit. And the thing I like about this is that these zip pockets, when you're wearing the bag, face your back. So the zippers are on your back and I haven't tried this yet, so I don't know, but this is my giant phone. I don't know if it'll fit, but let's see. Oh yeah. When this bag isn't stuffed, that'll be easier, but I do think it'll fit. And my phone has a case on it and it is gigantic. But you can see your phone will fit in this zip pocket perfect. So that's a great place to put your phone for added security because it's a zip pocket and the zipper is facing your back or it's on your back when you're wearing this bag. So that's the back feature. So you have two slip pockets, two zip pockets, your trolley sleeve, and then your really, really nice sized um, hidden magnetic pocket up here. Now, if we go back to the front, I'll show you. This bag has a double zipper. You have these oversized zipper pulls that go all the way down. But before I take you into the bag, let me show you what I love about this main closure zipper. So... The zipper pulls, if you can see, are these big rings, right, with the oversized pull on them. And I have no idea if this was an intentional design or if it just turned out this way. But if you pull both of those zippers, <clears throat> excuse me, to the top, right in the middle, and then flip them backward back toward you what that does is it puts your zipper pulls right in between your little grab handle up here and then where they're oversized you could a tuck them in your little magnetic pocket or 
You can just leave them out and leave them lying up against your back. So that when you have this on, those zipper pulls are right against your back as well. That's just an amazing security feature to me. Because one of the reasons I don't wear backpacks a lot is because I feel vulnerable having my bag sitting on my back where I feel like anyone could essentially just open it up because that's what a pickpocket's good at, right? That's their job is sneaking into your bag without you knowing. So with both of those zipper pulls right up here in between the grab handle where somebody can't just easily reach them and then both of the pulls laying against your back so when you're wearing it, you know, that's flat against your back. So if somebody goes to move that, you're going to feel it. And I think, too, they're going to be a lot less likely to try to move it because it is up against your back. So I just love that design feature. And like I said, I have no idea if it was intentional or if it just worked out that way. But regardless, I think that's one of the best things about this backpack is all of the security you get with the way the pockets were designed and the way that the main entry into this backpack was designed and I just think the security of it is amazing. <clears throat> okay, so let's turn it around. Let's get into this main, uh, main area now. So again, those double zippers, they come all the way down and then you unfold it and there's going to be stuffing coming out everywhere. But check this out. On this flap right here, first thing, you have two zipper pockets. One that goes this way, and then one that goes this way. So you are utilizing the space on the flap. Now let me take all this stuffing out. Okay, I've got all the stuffing out, and now if I can show you. So, you saw this pocket with the zipper and this pocket with the zipper and then right here is another zipper so if we undo this one I'll try to show you the best that I can this is another zipper pocket on the flap and this one goes all the way across for the most part you know you might have a quarter inch on each side but this one goes all the way to the bottom of the bag so this is a huge huge zip pocket and again that's right on your front, front flap right there. So all of the space on this flap, even though you don't have exterior pockets on it, all of that space is utilized. Then if we get into the main interior of the bag, again, if you saw my haul video, you would have seen in the duffel, we get this little pouch. So this is just a little neoprene pouch that goes with the backpack. Now, on this side, I haven't taken all this off yet, so let me see if I can show you. On this side, we have a little carabiner clip. So, I'm not doing a very good job of showing you all this, am I? But we have the little carabiner clip. So, you can, if you can see that, so you can clip the little pouch off on this end, or up here on the inside where it connects you have the little ring and then this side has a snap so you can fully remove this from your backpack you can bring it down snap this around there i did not show you that at all did i let me do that again so you can bring your little snap down and hook it I'm still not showing you. Hook it into the uh, little carabiner clip. Snap it back. And it gives you a little wristlet. If you want to use it that way. And um, again, you don't have to. If you don't want to, you can use it however you want. But I just think it's awesome that there was so much thought put into this design. That you can unclip it or detach it from either end. So you can use it as a wristlet. Or you can connect just the little lanyard piece back in here on the ring and then use the um, quick release little carabiner clip part clip your keys on it and use this as just a little separate pouch however you want to do it the options are endless but I just think the fact that they designed this so that it can come off from either end and you can utilize it to the best of your ability 
for whatever works best for you. I just love that. I love all of the thoughtfulness in this design. Okay, so on the back, you have this Velcro um, tab. And I do think that they went with a Velcro here as opposed to any kind of metal or magnet, like a snap or a magnet. So that if you do choose to put your electronics in this, um, none of that will kind of interfere. Like the magnets won't interfere with your electronics or the metal won't scratch your electronics. But you get another one of these little, I believe this is waterproof, but I'm not 100% sure. I'll have to look that up and let you know. But you get another one of these. They call it a shoe bag, but it's really just an open little bag. You can use it for whatever you want. Dirty laundry, shoes, swimsuits, whatever you want. A snack bag, a little tech bag, whatever you want to do. Put your laptop inside this and then stick it in there if that's what you want to do. But this is a big laptop sleeve. So the back of this is a little bit padded, not super, super padded. But this is a big mesh compartment that you can put your tech in and again that velcros in and then on each side in here if you can see you have another pocket that has that um elastic around the top it has a little bit of elastic around the top and it's a mesh pocket so you get one there on that side and then you get another one over here on this side. And those easily fit your water bottle. So, <clears throat> this is what I was telling you guys when I said, I think for what this is, the fact that this is a backpack, but it's not a huge backpack. It's one that I would be comfortable using for like a day trip or an overnight trip, or just as an everyday bag. I just think that all of the thoughtful design that's been put into this bag, not to mention the fact that I love the way this neoprene feels. It's so soft and smushy, and it just feels so good. All of the features that were put into this, I love the way it looks so sleek on the front. How you have all of your pockets on the back for security, all of the internal organization, the extra pouch, the shoe bag that you get with it, how comfortable it is. It is not heavy. Um, it's just, I am in love with this and I am not a backpack person at all. So, in conclusion, if you are a backpack person and you're intrigued by this at all, I highly recommend that you get one and check it out because I'm in love with this and I'm not a backpack person, but I do think I'm going to change into this and just see how it works for me as an everyday bag. It may be a little bit large for me personally as an everyday bag. This may be something that I pull out more so for like day trips with my kids and things like that so I can throw some extra drinks and extra snacks and things like that in it but whatever I choose to use this for I just love it I love the way it's designed I know I keep saying this but truly this is why I love it so much I love the features I love the organization I love the way the pockets are laid out I love how secure it feels to be a backpack so again this is the Thacker Maddie neoprene backpack in heather gray and I forgot to show you another feature that I just remembered. On the bottom of this backpack, you get those elastic loops again. So if you say use this as, um, like my daughter is interested in joining gymnastics. So if we sign her up for gymnastics, I could put a little towel down here so that when she's done with her um, what do you call it? Training? Appointment? Lesson! Her lesson! <laughs> so when she's done with her gymnastics lesson, she could have a little towel to wipe off with or whatever. Or you could stick a beach towel in this, a yoga mat. You could, um, if, 
if the day started out rainy and you had to put a little raincoat on and then the sun came out and the rain clouds went away, you could just shove your jacket through here so that you didn't have to carry it or take up space on the inside of your bag. You could shove a scarf through here. Whatever you wanted to use it for, um, those little elastic loops are just there for you to have extra capacity to carry more things. The neoprene itself is also very water resistant. Um, I want to say that it's waterproof, but I'm not 100% sure on that one, so I don't want to say that and misspeak. But it is, I know, very water resistant. Um, I think it's fairly easy to clean. It's just, I love everything about this, you guys. So, that's my review on the Thacker Maddie Neoprene Backpack in Heather Gray. If you guys have any questions, comments, you just want to say hello, anything like that, then leave me a message down below and I will get back to you as soon as possible. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye y'all.